if we were looking at our banks that offer different interest rates that are equivalent to 12 percent per year but they compound them at different times once per year so 12 percent once per year or twice per year six percent each time but twice per year or one percent twelve times per year and so on and so on then we got these different amounts as what we would have at the end of a year 1120 if it's once per year all the way up to one thousand one hundred twenty seven dollars and sixteen cents if it was twenty four times per year and it seems like gosh it's getting higher and higher every time we increase the amount of times per year that we are doing it so let's think let's think about taking that a little further and say well what if we do it 365 times per year but we still want to stay equivalent to 12 percent over the course of a year then what is our interest rate well off the top of my head I don't know but just like here when it was twice per year we took 12 percent and divided it by two to get six percent and when it was 24 times per year we took 12 percent we divided it by 24 to get half a percent here our interest rate is going to be whatever 12 divided by 365 is that'll be our percentage so in order to do the calculation over here then we're going to be taking our 1000 and we're going to multiply it by these numbers in the parentheses are always a 1 for 100 percent plus our interest rate which is this but we have to change it into a decimal so instead of 12 on the top I'm going to call that 0 0.12 and so this is 0 0.12 over 365 and now the exponent since we're doing it 365 times per year and we're doing we're looking at it after one year our exponent is going to be 365. So if we put that in our calculator, 1,000 times in parentheses, 1 plus 0.12 divided by 365, and then we raise that to the 365th power. Well, our number went up again. Now we have $1,127.47. When we change from 24 times per year to 365 times per year, the number goes up. But not by very much. Look what happened up here. When we just doubled how often we were going to do it, once per year to twice per year, we doubled it, and we went up $3.60. Now we're doing a whole lot more than doubling it. We're going from 24 times per year to 365 times per year. And we're adding, what, 31 cents? Not very much. What if we went even further? And we said, I'm going to do this not once per day. I'm going to do it 10,000 times in one year. So, that's going to be a whole lot more than once per day, right? It's going to be more than once per hour. We would take our 12% and we would divide it by 10,000. And our equation then becomes 1,000 times 1 plus 0.12 over 10,000 to the 10,000th power. And we type that in. We'll change this 365 here into a 10,000. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. And we'll change this one into a 10,000 with four zeros. And we'll press enter. And well, our amount of money went up again. One thousand one hundred twenty-seven and fifty cents. Hey, we got three more pennies. So, as we do more and more times per year, 
it looks like this is getting bigger and bigger, but not by much. It looks like it's getting closer and closer to some value. And yes, it is going to continue getting bigger, but it's approaching some value. If we let these go on down for a while, there's some one number. It's an asymptote. There's one number that we are approaching. We'd like to think about what that number is because we, when we've been talking about populations of the Earth growing and we've been saying, well, it happens 1% per year or 2% per year, we're assuming that that 1% gets added in at the end of a year. So like each year, a bunch of babies are born and some people die and that increases the population of the Earth by 1%, but none of that 1% gets added into the population until the end of the year. That doesn't really make much sense. What actually happens is it's continuously happening. It's happening more often than once per year. It's happening more often than once per month. It's happening more often than once per day. It's always, always happening. So we're looking at what that asymptote is when we're talking about things that are continuously happening, happening all the time. So in order to see that, we're going to take our 1,000, and we're going to think about what happens to 1 plus 12 over n to the n power. If we let n get bigger and bigger and bigger, n goes to infinity. This is kind of hard for us to see, so we're going to actually change our variable. What? Whoops, and that 12, by the way, is 0.12 because it was 12% divided by the number of times that we use it per year times that number. Uh, I'm sorry, raised to the power of that number. Okay. <clears throat> In order to see this a little differently, we're going to just make up a new variable. And the new variable we're going to make up, we will call k. k is n divided by 0.12. Well, we made that up. But now that we've made it up, we can say something is true. n is equal to 0.12 times k. I just multiplied both sides of this by 0.12. Another thing that's true is that 1 over k is just the reciprocal of k. So that's going to be 0.12 divided by n. I'm flipping this over, so I'm flipping that over. Now let's look at this expression up here in terms of k. The 1,000 is still 1,000 times, in the parentheses, 1 plus 0.12 over n. Ooh, that's 1 over k. To the n power, n is 0.12 times k. So that's k times 0.12, or 0.12k. I'm putting it in this order because what I want to think about is the fact that this bit right here is, I have multiplication in the exponent, it's 1 plus 1 over k to the k power, and then that whole thing raised to the 0.12 power because I would multiply those exponents like this. So now I can, and there's a 1,000 out front. Now we can focus on just what's inside those square brackets, because k is the only thing that's changing. As n gets bigger and bigger and bigger, k will also get bigger. n is approaching infinity, then k is also. So we want to look at this number as k approaches infinity. We've gotten the interest rate out of there by putting it out here. We are interested in 1 plus 1 over k, 1 over k, to the k power, and k gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And so we can just do this. One, oops, parenthesis. One plus one over ten to the tenth power is a number. If we repeat that, but we change the tens to one hundreds, that would mean we were adding our interest in one hundred times per year. 
it's that number. If we make k even bigger, say not a hundred, but a thousand, okay, the number's continuing to get bigger. Let's jump forward a whole bunch by saying I'm going to go from one thousand to one, two, three. Three more zeros here. So I'm at one million. One, two, three. Two point seven one eight two eight. And look, the number appears to be approaching one single number. This thing, as K gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this number looks like it's heading towards this number of 2.718 and there's some more decimal places after it. This number that this thing heads towards as k gets bigger has its own special name just like pi is 3.1415 blah 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 this number has its own special name e Euler's number You can find it on your calculator by pressing the second button and the divide. Look at that, this answer here, when we put in one million, we were accurate out to five digits on E. If we had gone to 100 million, we probably would have gotten the sixth, maybe seventh digit. You can try that on your own. E. And now look what happened to our equation. This thing inside the square brackets becomes e. So we've got our 1,000 that was out there times e to the 0 0.12. Because this whole bracket approaches this number e, 2.718. And so what happens to these numbers as we go is they approach 1,000 to the e times e to the 0 0.12. That's as big as they'll ever get. They can't get any bigger. They're getting closer and closer and closer to this number as we get closer and closer and closer to adding our interest in continuously.